Can Coffee Bean take away Starbucks's crown? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Starbucks and Coffee Bean have so much more to offer these days than drinks. They're practically little restaurants. Yeah, little tiny restaurants with a lot of coffee on their it's menus. strange, really. Such a little teeny tiny restaurant with so many different coffees. Yeah, such a teeny tiny, eensy weensy little oh, restaurant. Itty with, bitty. With so many coffees. Yes. Like, why can you be such an itty bitty, teeny oh, weeny, so tiny, eensy tiny restaurant with so many coffees? It blows the mind. It's weird. But which restaurant is the real creme de la creme? It's time for Food Feuds, Starbucks versus Coffee Bean. Okay, so usually when we do one of these Food Feud episodes, we bring up the beef, the Twitter beef, the online beef that these uh -huh. places have with one another. Throwing shade at but each other. But you know what? Apparently coffee places are way above this. They're like, uh-uh, we don't play that game. High we, even, we tried to instigate a beef. We tweeted at uh, Coffee Bean, hey, the Coffee Bean, we heard that Starbucks said your drinks are just glorified milkshakes that were left in the sun for a while. Care to respond? Woo, that was sure to get a response, right? They did not. And we also tried to go the other way. Hey, Starbucks, the coffee bean says they know how to spell people's names correctly over here. Boom, roasted. And there was even the, ro the roasted, roasted pun. thing, yes, which is right, great. Because of the coffee beans are roasted. Okay. It even got 39 retweets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even still, we couldn't start a beef. But you know what? It exists in people's minds. You know they're thinking about it over there at the coffee bean especially. <laughs> they're thinking about Starbucks. Maybe Starbucks isn't thinking as much about the coffee bean, but is that uncalled for? Should they be thinking about them? Maybe they should. It's on our minds. So we're gonna taste and compare popular food and of course drink items from both menus and we're gonna each rate them on a scale of one to 10. The coffee spot with the most points will be crowned the caffeinated champ and win a chance to sponsor a future episode of Good Mythical Morning. That's this show. After this we purpose. tweeted that crap at you, now we yeah. want you to sponsor yeah. us. Yeah, please. Let's start off with some coffee. Yeah, please. Hey there. Hey, hey. It's me, Starbucks Stewart, hey, and Stuart. I love this corporation. You do? Mm, You're all in. Oh, it's the best corporation, because we make the best coffee. This coffee is the Pike Place Medium Roast. I've heard of for this. For $2.45. I've heard of it. It's got a little hint of chocolate, Doesn't cinnamon, it? and nuts. Without actually having any of those things in. Right, just, no, just, a hint. Yeah. Uh, just, okay, man. Right, right, yeah, all right, cool. Hint, I, a, a all right. Just a little taste. All right, dude. Okay, thank Hi. you. Ah. It's me, Jennifer. I work for Coffee Bean now. Oh, wow. Great. And this is our Coffee Bean Medium Roast in size small for two thirty-five. I don't know what's in it, but I've had four of them this morning and I feel alive. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. Great. You, you know, Stuart, Stuart and Jennifer don't really have upward mobility. They have lateral mobility. They're constantly right. moving to the same position at a different corporation. Yeah. Now, we've all had this, right? Who is she? She's the queen of Starbucks. And how how many Starbucks are there, Rhett? Do you know this? There's over 33,000 Starbucks in the world, and there's only a thousand plus, is what they say on the Coffee Bean website. So, and we actually just found out there's only 114 coffee beans in the United States. Coffee bean and tea leaf is what they call it. Okay. Which means that many of you may not even know what we're talking about when we say coffee bean, but you of course know Starbucks, but there's a lot here in the Los Angeles area. Yeah, I, I go to the coffee bean. People think that Free Starbucks bean. coffee tastes burnt, and I kinda understand that, but I've always yeah. kinda liked the taste. Am I it, alone? At least you can count on it being strong. Here, try the try the coffee bean. Let's see how it how it rates. I would I would describe Starbucks as a little burnt, and I would describe the coffee bean as a little cardboardy. I feel like I'm tasting a little bit of the cup. I gotta say, for me, there's not a whole lot of there, there's definitely a difference in taste, but in the how much I'm liking it, it's kind of like yeah. I mean, I'm drinking coffee, and I'm not like excited about it, and I'm not gonna like tell people about it. But I feel like it's getting the job done, and it's not. Too bitter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rate the Starbucks over here. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it a seven. Hmm. But I'm also gonna give the coffee bean a seven. 
Because I thought that they were different but equal. Um, I'm liking the coffee bean a little bit more. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. did you hear that? Mm. You know what, I'm not. <laughs> I drank it again, and the more you drink, you wanna get that punch, so I'm gonna go down a notch to seven. Oh my, <laughs> well. I you thought I liked it more, but you, I don't. You know what, this is called flexibility and thinking. Okay. It's breakfast time. Hello. And this is Coffee Beans Bacon, Egg, and Cheese English Muffin for $5.50. And if you love coffee bean coffee as much as I do, then you're going to love this. All right. All Very right. Enthusiastic. Hey, Nobody loves coffee bean coffee as much as she does. Hi. So this is the double smoked bacon oh, buddy. cheddar and egg sandwich for $5.75. That's double smoked bacon. Yeah, you know what that double means? Double smoked. They smoked it twice. Yeah. <laughs> is that a croissant? What is this? This is what my kids get if you take them to Starbucks. Could I get a double smoke, Dad? I'm spoiled. <laughs> Whose fault is that? Yeah, mine. Yeah, and my wife's. More of my wife's. I like it though. I, it always hits the spot for me. I've recently had the sausage egg and cheese, um, which I think comes on a, a, a McMuffin. Not a McMuffin, that's McDonald's, but you know what I'm saying. An egg, what is that thing called? A, the, an English muffin. An English muffin. <laughs> I, it, it burnt the roof of my mouth. Haven't been the same for a week and a half. Now, you said, was this a croissant? It, I don't even know what it is. I think it's kind of like a croissant, but it's like its own little pastry creation. It's got croissant and, and sort of just bread-like qualities. I, I, I really think Starbucks does a great job with all of their, their breakfast. You can, you, can, you can count on getting something good. This looks like something you'd pick up at Mickey D's. And I haven't had, yeah. I've never had it. The English muffin is much more dense. There's so much more to it. Kind of dominates the experience. It's just a solid sandwich, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're very similar. That's a solid sandwich. That's an eight over here on the Starbucks side for me. I agree, I give that an eight. It is. It's um, it's pretty impressive. I think they're all pre-made. I don't think they're like making them in the back. Over here, this is just not as good. Um, again, it's not horrible. N without having that next to it, I'd be happy. I'm giving it a six. You know what? I'm not gonna hold the English muffinness against it because I I prefer this kind of bread versus the English muffin. But. Uh, so I'm not gonna go all the way to a six, but I'm gonna say a seven, so not quite as good. So a seven for the coffee bean sandwich. All right, today is the last day to sign up for Third Degree Annual Plan over at the Mythical Society to receive your choice of one of the past 2021 quarterly items while supplies last. Mm -hmm. So go over there, and you can also be randomly selected for, for a meet and greet with us. Oh, you wanna meet and greet us? Virtually? Mythicalsociety.com for details. All right, moving on to some tea, some tea lattes. Oh, okay. Mm. This is Starbucks Grande Ice Chai Latte for four seventy five. It's infused with pepper, cardamom, and ginger. Oh. So, yeah, it's like the jazz of chai iced tea. Okay. Yeah, right. All right. You guys like jazz? Improvisation. Yeah, I love improvisation. Did someone say jazz? Oh, Why? I'm jazz. I'm jazzed. <laughs> To show you the coffee bean small iced chai tea latte for four seventy five. It's got okay. cloves and cinnamon in there, and I dumped one into some coffee and chugged it. Now I can see into my own eyes. Oh wow! Whoa, Jennifer is same price Jesus. for these uh, but iced chai lattes. First, there's two things that I think are notable here. Obviously, coffee bean and tea leaf has tea leaf in the name, so it sets a little bit of an expectation. But yeah. also, they yeah. say on their website that their chai tea is always fresh brewed, never from concentrate. While Starbucks is from a chai tea concentrate, oh, my oh, friend, oh, oh, oh. they're not brewing it. Okay. We need not hold that against them. No, we're just tasting it. Wow, pepper, ginger, cardamom? All that, it's like jazz. Would you ever order this? No, but now I'm thinking, I should order this. I have ordered this. This is good. I usually get it hot, but I, I ask yeah. for it without the sweetener, without the okay. sugar syrup. Okay. Unless I wanna be a bad boy. Yeah, I feel like I'm being a bad boy. <laughs> 
All right, this one's got a straw. My wife hates it when I do that. Whenever I enjoy something like that, I say, I'm being a bad boy. She said, this is an unhealthy relationship with food, Rhett. Well, that's a good She's point. She's probably right, but it's funny to say, I'm being a little bad boy. All right, chai tea not from concentrate. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have that peppery, cardamomy. It's not as strong. It's not as strong. It's just not as strong. The concentrate is so concentrated. It's also not quite as sweet. I'm being told there's 42 grams of sugar in the Starbucks Ooh, version. Ooh, and there's only 32 grams of sugar in the coffee bean, and listen, I, sometimes I I'm like to be a told. little bad boy. Uh, <laughs> if I was drinking this, I'd be like, it's cool, man, it's cool, yeah, yeah. Right. It's chai, chai latte. But all of a sudden I have this, and it's, I'm like. It packs a punch. And I'm not liking it because of the sweetness. I'm liking it because of the specific flavor of the chai. Yeah, I mean, it's the same experience I had with the coffee in round one, that like once you've had a few sips and you start to acclimate to it, having that more punchiness that Starbucks is giving you on both of these drinks is gonna, I'm gonna give this an eight. I'm giving it a nine. I'm giving this chai a nine. Over here, to contrast with my eight, I gotta give the tea leaf a, a five. Whoa. That's such a low score. I, just because it's dramatically different. I, I mean, like I said, I d I'm not not enjoying this. I'm just not enjoying as much as this. I'm, I'm giving this a seven, so, you know, not, not all the way down, but a seven, solid seven. I know, I know what you did. We gonna Hi. get some dessert? Yes. <gasps> oh, that thing's big. This is Coffee Beans Chocolate Croissant for three twenty-five. It's hot in here. Isn't it? Is it? Uh, well, not really. Or is it just me? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> this is the correctly pronounced Starbucks chocolate croissant uh, for 325. So I've wait. been to Paris. So okay. Uh, <laughs> you ever been to looking down your nose at us? Stuart is a heck of a guy. Now I've had this quite a bit. That's a much bigger croissant. I mean, look at the look at the difference here. Now, there is a, also a, a structural difference besides the size. The Starbucks says that it is wrapped around two chocolate batons. Yeah, I see well, the two chocolate batons. the coffee bean is a rich chocolate filling. Now, by the, by well, the way. I see two chocolate batons, Well, though. interestingly, two chocolate ba uh, batons is my wife's favorite porn. <laughs> oh, that's not tasteful. How, how am You're I gonna eat this? You're such a bad boy. <laughs> um, staying out of it. It's between what's your wife's favorite porn? It's between you, your wife, and the internet. Um, I'm about to munch on this chocolate baton. There's some flakiness, but there's no crispiness. No crispiness. It's good though. It's good. It tastes good, but it doesn't taste like a croissant. This one is so huge. Oh man, look at that. I kind of like m a little bit more chocolate. I'm a, I'm a croissant lover. Ding-a-ling, ring-a-ding-a-ding-a-ling, -a -ding -a coffee mm -hmm. bean. <laughs> mm-hmm. Y'all showed up all of a sudden. It's flaky, it's airy, it's freaking huge. And you know what? You really don't need that much chocolate because it, it comes through so Aggressive. That is, I mean, that is a croissant. That's what you expect out of a croissant. I think there might be a, 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 a totally different approach. Like, this feels like it might be baked in store. I don't know how they do it, but this is obviously like just warmed up. This, it, whether it is or not, it comes across as something made like you might get this at just like a, uh, you know, an independently owned coffee shop that had some pastries brought in by yeah. like, the person's grandmother. This isn't bad, mm. but it's not this. Starbucks, mm -hmm. if you're gonna call out a croissant, you gotta make it more of a croissant. I'm, I'm giving this a five. <clears throat> I was thinking five too, so that's what I'm gonna say. I give it a five. Over here, I, I'll, I'll let you, the, I'll let the winds of your sailing bring you all the way over to a high score first. Um, uh, can it get a 10? <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna give it a 10. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm, I, I'm not saying it's a perfect croissant, but it's pretty close to perfect. It's a nine. I'm gonna give it an eight because because your joke kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> oh come on! I'm yeah. just being a little, I'm just being a bad boy. I'm just gonna give it an eight. I'm just a bad boy sometimes. 
<laughs> Moving on to some frozen drinks. Yes. Here is the Starbucks Grande White Chocolate Mocha Frappuccino for four ninety five. Okay. Yeah, it's Nora Jones's favorite drink. Is it? You guys like jazz? She, yeah, she's it's very smooth. Mm. Yeah. Jazz stuff. Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is hey. Coffee Beans White Chocolate Ice Blended Drink for four ninety five. Okay. It is a lot harder to chug, but I highly recommend it. My hair has a heartbeat, and I named it Schlar. Wow. She's wired, she, man. And there's a weird relationship between them. Yeah, she's she seems annoyed by Stuart. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This looks like a, an icy that didn't quite turn out. Yeah. Um, I never get these these sorts. But of drinks. the the fact that they call it a mocha frappuccino versus a ice blended drink frappuccino ice blended drink. Well, that's like, just because they have a trademark or something. Right. They need uh, the, the coffee bean needs a name for this. Maybe they could take Schlar. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's up. It's up for grabs. That actually is pretty good, though. Ooh, yeah. Mm. It doesn't seem like it's going to have that much flavor until you start sucking on it. I'm not used to getting the sweetness of the sweet drinks. Yeah, it's so sweet. Woo! That is. It's, I mean, it's almost too sweet for me. Yeah, you actually kind of have to ease into that kind of thing. Oh, oh man. <sighs> I mean, this is probably going to be just as sweet though. But look at the bottom. It's got a bunch of syrup on the bottom. There's that. There's that chocolate syrup. Oh, totally different experience. The chocolate is so strong. I can't say one of them stands out over the other. They're different, and just the more I drink, the less I like both of them. Th this one's just very. It's it's so sugary. And this one at least is more chocolatey. There's more flavor happening the more I go back and forth. Yeah. I, I'm I'm definitely liking this one better. This is starting to taste fakey. Yes, I'm gonna give it a five. I'm gonna give it a four. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna give this one a nice, non-generous seven. Uh, I'm not a huge fan, but it's better than a four. I'm giving it a six. Okay, finally. Last round. And this Desserts. is the Starbucks Iced Lemon Cake Loaf. Mm. <laughs> loaf. For 325. All right. Yeah, Nora Jones likes this one too. Oh. I listen to a lot of her music. Get out of here, oh. I hate you. Wow. <sighs> this is Coffee Beans Iced Lemon Cake Loaf for 295. And screw Nora Jones, it's my favorite. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yes, <laughs> you are. I'm so scared. <laughs> Snap out of it. You're embarrassing your corporation. Wow. No, I do not fall in love. She got doused in the face. What is, what is but going on? But it was like a on? sexual There's tension. There's so much sexual <laughs> tension. Who knew a lemon loaf could do such things? I don't know if I can eat now. Um, hmm. You don't like you don't like lemon or cake. So I don't know how you're gonna. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be an impartial judge. But the fact that they're both lemon and cake means that your score should, right, even itself out. Now they're. I mean they. They're two versions of the same thing. Uh, very similar in price. That's it. In general, I've noticed the pricing, at least for all the other rounds, has been exactly the same. Like they've really locked in. I uh, coffee bean, I guess, matching Starbucks. So that's taken off the table. Oh, you don't think Starbucks is copying coffee bean? Probably not. Not with a, a thousand stores. That is a moist cake. Like you know, the yeah, I love the cake pops at Starbucks because there's you know, you're so like, how do they get this thing to be so moist? They're almost wet. They've carried. They've somehow carried that philosophy into this cake. That tastes like something. Your your grandma may ship you. You know how your grandma ships you uh, cakes and they're really yep. moist. Nana sends a pound cake for every birthday, just in a box, just mails it. This is pretty moist too, at least it feels moist. Ooh. Whoa! The icing is, is, is a lemony zest. There's more lemon and the crust on that is so good. The, the Starbucks icing is just uh, sweet icing, it is not lemony. I thought this was an incredible experience until I had this. What? I, I would say it's not quite as moist, and then it's not a it's not as mm. balanced because the icing is wowzer so lemony. This is still really good. It almost steals the show. 
Uh, I give it a solid, solid seven. Um, I'm also gonna give it a seven because it's an, it's it's a great experience. But I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to give coffee bean. I'm gonna go all the way to an eight. I'm not gonna go. Oh wow! I'm not gonna get crazy here. I'm gonna give it a seven. Okay. Nope. I gave that a seven. I'm gonna give this a six. And there you have it. We've scored all the items. <laughs> okay, the final scores are in. And by two points, Whoa! your winner is Coffee Bean. Oh, no, really? Yeah, it was 81 Coffee to Bean 83. Coffee Bean, they beat the really Starbucks. Bangs. Are you sure? I, I think, yeah. <laughs> You're so hot when you do that. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, hi, you're here. <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't rein in love if it wants to happen. It doesn't want to happen. Congratulations, Coffee Bean. A total surprise. Very, very close. You're the caffeinated champion. You know what? You want an opportunity to sponsor an episode of Good Mythical Morning. Let's yeah. talk. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is? Hey folks, I'm Thanos from San Francisco, and today I made my first banana bread. And I'm about to eat it with some peanut butter blueberries. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. I want to follow him on TikTok. I mean, I feel like hey, that's best friend material right there. <laughs> hey. I mean, just think if you die. Click the top link to watch us find out if lavender is actually a good flavor in Good Mythical More. It'll be my best friend. When you die. Yeah. I said if. Oh. And to find out where the Willow Mythical is going away. It's the last day of Mythical Society anniversary deals. Check them out at mythicalsociety.com.